Uh, Rory the Swagger Husky says, there is this sheikh that, who has a lecture on YouTube with Muhammad Tijab. Apparently he said that women are not sexual beings and that men can't control themselves. He's making us men predatorial. I will say for a fact that I am a woman who, like once it comes over me that I want to fuck something, it comes over me and I can't, con like I have no control. I have to like immediately sit down and like really think about my actions from there and there because it, it it's ridiculous that this notion that women are not sexual beings is still going around <laughs> it's still like perpetuated it's it's crazy to me and it's always made me feel weird because i've always been someone who's had like a sex drive obviously in the past like i've suppressed it as like a muslim i've suppressed it and acted like i didn't have that but i am i am what you call an animal of a human being. Like once something comes over me, I have no self-control. What like um, something that I used to do, and this is kind of related, but not really related. But after um, I used to go to therapy, every single like therapy session afterwards, I would be so filled with just like animal fury, just like animal energy that I would have to eat like a bucket of chicken. I, I'm not kidding. I would be sitting like, and I would not care also what I looked like. Um, so I would have like a bucket from like KFC or some shit of just like sitting on the tube, like very public transport, just like eating with both hands, savage, pure animal, right? People would look at me and just walk away. <laughs> they would just like see me. I would make dead eye contact. Like I dared them to say something and just, they would just walk off. Like I would have the whole carriage to myself. It was, it, it, it's something that I have spoken about frequently and and i do not understand why women are like dehumanized to the level of oh we're just like these pure uh, just these, these pure angelic beings who don't have who who just walk in in purity and anyone any woman who defies that is like this devil witch woman you know like i we're all animals men women any any animal on this planet is an animal and we have our animal moments and that extends to sexuality like for me uh, and i've said this like several times like sometimes i'll just be in a bad mood because i just haven't been dicked in a long time i just haven't been dicked in a long time um and i, I that's it and you know it's it's led to me really needing to like process that and understand why i feel like that and at the end of the day it's just i'm an animal animals need sex it's just one of those things you know you just need that like pure carnal fury of putting someone down just of them. that that's it like that's it uh, i don't know if i'm being way too graphic i'm sorry there's only like 15 of you and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna lose about seven of you because of that but it that that's just all it is it's just you needing to get like the the animal in the back of your brain just out you know and that's it and i don't think there's anything wrong with that and i don't think there's anything wrong with talking about that um i like that critical cripple is still being like hit like before you leave <laughs> um but yeah i i think that the image like the little red riding hood image that's how i like to categorize it because women are like the innocent little red riding hood and men are like the big bad wolf who are just out to get you um it's just like it's really really archaic and it really dehumanizes both men and women because it unsexualizes women and makes us feel like oh we're just like these plastic robot women angelic robots who just will do everything at your bidding and we need to be protected and please save us and men being like these hulking animals when really we're all just fucking animals i'm pretty sure if you left me in the wild um for like a month I would be just the top of the food <laughs> because I give no fucks like I give no fucks I will g get done what I need to get done my emotions are so secondary which is why I'm here like I'm kind of a nutcase um, and I will just get what I need to get done done like if I need to kill something I will do it you know okay that sounds bad but like in the wild like in a survival situation I just do what I need to do and I think that to an extent almost everyone is like that oh people who joined right now are going to be like what the fuck is going on I just like joined two or three viewers and I'm <laughs> they're like whoa what is she talking about um sorry welcome to my live stream we haven't done what we actually set out to do yet 
because uh, I'm still getting through the comments. There are just interesting questions. I might just change the title of this because this is actually kind of fun. Um, hi, Susu Benna. Welcome to the chat. Um, but yeah, I think that this dehumanizing of people really needs to stop. It's really old and it belongs in like the 15th century. Like even Shakespeare was getting tired of it, you know, with his female characters. And he was like, oh, you know what? Like, I just want to write a strong female character, but I can't because the audience is like so fucking uptight. Like, you know, I feel like that's why he integrated witches and things into his plays. Um, because it makes it more interesting when you have like multi-dimensional characters that aren't just hard, solid dolls who just do whatever the fuck 